All right, red tide is two words we do not like to hear. And right now, scientists are tracking a small bloom south of Sarasota and one off the coast of Pinellas County. Now, they're saying they don't think that this is going to turn into anything severe, you know, like that never-ending bloom of 2018. But as Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan reports, scientists have also come a long way since then to track, detect, and manage red tide. These yellow dots have caught the attention of scientists along the west coast of Florida, including Dr. Cynthia Heil, the director of the Red Tide Institute at Mount Murray. They're finding low concentrations uh, between southern Sarasota County down to Sanibel. She's talking about red tide. Scientists describe this bloom as very patchy, and as of right now, they're not expecting it to get as bad as the 2018 bloom. The conditions just aren't favorable for it right now. Um, so we're not expecting a huge one, like 18. Now, uh, that being said, this is a typical red tide in Florida, and we do get them every year. The 2018 red tide was an environmental and economic disaster along Florida's Gulf Coast. In response to it, Moat has partnered with the FWC, forming the Florida Red Tide Mitigation and Technology Development Initiative. With the help of millions of dollars in state funding, they're working on a toolbox to help better detect and mitigate red tide. Having you know, half a dozen promising compounds technologies right now is a huge step forward. Now we're zooming in a little bit on specific bullets, those that are looking promising to move through that tiered system from the lab base to the mesocause and these larger tanks to, to, the, to the near shore water. The ultimate goal is preventing a repeat of the 2018 red tide, which lasted 11 long months and is one of the worst in memory. It really spurred a lot of folks to come together. I'm talking to folks daily that are bringing new ideas that have heard about the bloom that were impacted by the bloom. Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News.